Diane Chambers Day is the 22nd episode of the fourth season of Cheers. This is also known by a different name. It's known as Bandios on Amazon Prime in the UK. So I don't know what it's like on the DVDs, but if you're in the UK and you're trying to find the episode, it is currently called Bandios on Prime, and this, of course, is directed by the wonderful James Burroughs, and there will be spoilers from now as I discuss what happens in this episode, and it is a good episode. I do have a couple of points of teeny tiny criticism, nothing severe at all, but a few things where I think things were maybe not as perfect as they usually are with Cheers, but I do have a lot of notes, so there will be spoilers from now. It starts off... Unrelated, Woody has hired or helped hire a waitress. It's a character called Corin, played by Doris Grau, and it was it was a delightful way to start things off. She knew Norm from the Hungry Heifer, and Al finds her appealing. It was a fun way to start things and kickstart the episode. Then we have Norm coming in with uh, complaints that Vera wants to go on vacation. Woody suggests he vacations in Hanover, Indiana. And then Carla gets a phone call from her daughter, Anne-Marie, who is very insecure about her retainers. We get quite a lot of, I don't want to use the word fluff at the beginning because that sounds insulting. We get a lot of unrelated things to begin with. And it takes us a little while to get to the main point of the narrative. That's not really a criticism because I liked those aspects. But if I didn't find those interesting, then I suppose the time it took us to get to the point could have been a little bit better. Nevertheless, we get there eventually when we meet a character very briefly called Dennis, played by Tom Harrison, and he comes into Cheers to give Diane her sweater. He's dressed for a Renaissance fair, and the others start to make fun of her for a little bit, and we definitely see that Diane is not exactly very pleased about this. Very briefly, Cliff and Norm decide to go to what Cliff calls the Wham Bam Room, and he invites Fraser. They're about to go, and then Sam comes rushing out, and he says, and I quote, Guys, Carla, get your coats. He's inviting them to his house, or his apartment, to watch Magnificent Seven on TV. And the use of guys and Carla is quite interesting, because initially... One might think that guys would include Diane. It's not unusual to say guys, meaning everybody. But the fact that he singled out Carla indicated that when he said guys, he meant the men and then Carla. And Diane doesn't necessarily pick up on this because Diane says that even though it's not usually her kind of thing, it would be interesting to compare it to the Seven Samurai. And Sam, oblivious to what she's saying, at least I think he's oblivious to it, tells her that he'll make sure to compare it, can you lock up? And the audience reacts to this very slightly. It's not a, a huge reaction, but there is a little bit of sympathy given for Diane in that moment as we realise she's not invited. And I will say it is kind of mean. I don't think Sam had mean intentions, but to walk into a room and invite everybody there except one person back to your apartment, that's a little insensitive. And Diane wails and she gets upset about this and she ends up leaving. And I do feel like this is two steps forward, one step back. And this is a tiny criticism. I realise this episode might not have worked without this, but a couple of episodes ago in Suspicion, we had that moment where Diane finally felt like she was one of the gang. So for this to then suggest that that's not the case, it is like we did two steps forward, one step back, or, or even two steps forward, two steps back, because we're no further forward than we were when we got to that episode. So that is a, a small criticism, and I feel like we do need progression. And usually this is not an issue with Cheers. But it's definitely apparent in this episode. The next day, Diane phones in sick. This is clearly bothering her. So Fraser points out, quite rightly, that Diane has always tried to make an effort to be involved in their activities. So why don't they try joining in with something she enjoys? And Fraser puts together this great evening and most of the gang go to the opera with Diane and... This scene is something where I think 
it, it's not great, I'll be honest, for three minutes, which doesn't sound like very long, but when nothing is happening, it's quite a long time because we get to see the opera box, the, the guys are there, Sam, Cliff, Norm and Woody, they're dressed smartly, they look wonderful, and it's like something's not right, like there's a sense of foreboding, but then Diane's there, she's happy, everything is going well, Norm opens a beer, and that's the end of that scene. And I feel like we almost didn't need that scene and those moments at the opera because other than Diane delighting in talking about what it's about, it didn't really give us very much. So as a point of criticism, those three minutes, and I, I did time it, were were not brilliant. They were very slow. However, the rest of the episode is beautiful. And it all takes place back at Cheers, mostly with just Sam and Diane. And Diane thanks Sam for this wonderful evening and they kiss more than once. And so many episodes have been leading up to this that it feels like such a relief. And interestingly for Diane, and this really helps to show where she's leading at the moment, is that she says let's not talk, let's just do. And it definitely suggests that she's not thinking rationally. She's not thinking like Diane in that moment, which I think is very telling about how she is responding to Sam. Sam, to his credit, realises he can't go through with this with Diane thinking that the evening was all down to him. And he confesses that it was actually Fraser who put things together. And there's this wonderful moment with Sam where it's clear he thinks Diane is going to say something. He, she's going to explode. She's going to fly off the handle. She's going to get really annoyed. But she doesn't. She just smiles and says, and I quote, you saying this to me now is one of the most wonderful things you have ever done. And Sam is elated. The happiness on his face is amazing because he realizes she's not going to blow up at him. And as she says... I'm even more attracted to you now than ever. Sam thinks, brilliant, we're in, let's do this. No, Diane thinks that they should wait, that they are developing a very special relationship, in her words, and we're not ready yet. And this is really fascinating. This is a really interesting point in Cheers. Without talking about what happens in future episodes, here we have Sam and Diane admitting that they are basically ready to be in a relationship again. And I think that that's, well, it's taken quite a while, hasn't it? But it's it's such a wonderful, important, moving moment. And I love the fact that Diane was very much in control here, not because I think Diane should be in control, but because I feel like Sam would be thinking, not with his head, put it that way, whereas Diane is able to take that moment step away from things and think just a little bit more rationally. And that suggests that she's not just diving into it. The fact that Sam hasn't just said, well, if it's not now, it's never, indicates that actually maybe he's willing to give this a go properly. But of course, we don't know what's going to happen next. This is purely speculation based solely on this episode. So it's not an amazing episode all of the way through. I actually didn't find it tremendously funny. In fact, I don't know if I laughed out loud at any point, which is so, so rare for me with an episode of Cheers. Usually I'm laughing all of the way through. But with this one, I actually think it's it's kind of emotional, both because I love Diane. I don't like to think of her as feeling rejected. And then I love Diane and Sam, and I love to see what's happening there. So it is a beautiful episode. There is room for improvement. It might not be the funniest but I'd say it's a pretty important episode and ultimately Diane Chambers Day is very valuable. Definitely helps to steer things in an interesting direction and even though I didn't laugh all of the way through it, I definitely enjoyed it. <laughs> 